Hi guys, uh, I recently uh, uploaded a video on how to mod uh, Generation 3 uh, PS3 controllers and uh, I went out and bought a new uh, blue PS3 controller haven't modded it yet so I'm gonna do uh, how to mod uh, put the PS button in it the light in it video so yeah uh, right after this I will have uh, like right now I'll upload a there'll be a picture uh, showing all the equipment that you need so yeah Okay you guys, step one, you're going to want to unscrew these screws right there, 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 and there. Make sure you got a good screwdriver the right size, else it'll strip these uh, screws and you won't be able to get the screws out. So yeah, once I've got that out, I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, once you've got all the screws out, I would uh, suggest putting all your screws on a piece of tape like I did so that you don't lose them. And you're okay for the next step, just gonna want to lift up the back a little bit, push in here, push in right here, and pull up. And that should just slide off like that. Okay, so. Here's the thing, I'm not sure whether or not to call this Generation 3 anymore because you look here, the plastic piece goes over the DualShock and uh, on both sides and the motherboard, the solder points are in different spots so I'm not whether or not it's Generation 4 but I will just call it Generation 3 for now until somebody tells me wrong. So next, pull out the battery Give me a sec, gotta put the camera down. Okay, so now that you got the battery out, uh, right here, the dual shocks. The only really way you're gonna be able to mod this is if you uh, cut the wires for the dual shocks but the thing is you cut them really down to where the solder point is and then you can uh, solder them back on that's what I'm gonna be doing so you can or you can just take out the dual shocks completely if you want because they kinda really made it so that it was harder to mod for these damn PS3 bastards so you're gonna wanna cut these right down at the bottom on both sides and remember the top solder point that's the positive the ones on the bottom is the negative and this side is the small uh, dual shock one this one's a bigger one same top one's positive uh, bottom one's uh, negative and so you're gonna take cut those at the very bottom and take out this screw so once I've got out that screw and cut these out I will be right back. Okay, you guys, once that screws out, your motherboard should just lift out like that. That's your that's your motherboard. So just put it aside. And uh, next, you're gonna take. Oh right, I forgot. There's uh these clamps. They hold that plastic piece in. So. You're gonna have to spread these two blue clamps out and pull out. Same on this side. Cause it else it won't the plastic piece is just stuck in there, it won't come out. So once I do that, I'll be right back. Okay you guys, I did on all the clips and it should just lift out. I can do this with one hand. Just lifts out like that. And you see, these dual shocks, they're like on the wrong side pretty well. Like they turn the plastic piece over so that everything was harder to mod. But anyways, uh 
Actually, I'm gonna tell you guys right now. Uh, there used to be like a little claw thing in uh, your D-pad in the old generations. Uh, I get a lot of questions on my disassembly and assembly uh, video for this. You, when you take, when you're uh, disassembling it, you don't even actually need that claw piece. Like when I do, when I do my d glowing D-pad, I just take it right out and it, my D-pad still works fine. So, just remember that. Except for these new ones, like this generation four, gener new gener kinds of generation three, they don't have it anymore, so you don't have to worry about that. So next, uh, you're gonna unclip the little touch pad off of the white uh, plastic piece, and uh, right here, clamp this one off right here. And I want to tell you, if right now you don't want to lose lose this foaming piece, if you fucking lose it. Your fucking PS3 controller won't work anymore. Cause that's how all the buttons and work, the PS button and all that shit. So, like, even if you still plug your USB into it, your, your controller will turn on, but you can't press any of the buttons. So I'm telling you that right now, don't lose it. So I would just suggest to take it right off and put it with your screws. So that you don't lose it. And there's this little clamp piece right here, this little clamp piece right here, and there's this one right here. It's kind of hard to do with one hand. There, I got it off. So you can just set that aside. And uh, I'm going to start working on the PS button. I'll show you guys what to do. So what you're going to do, you're going to cut a hole in here. That's how the light will shine through to the PS button and start glowing. And if I can uh, just show you, I can find one that I've already cut open. Give you guys an example of what it's going to look like. So, I've kind of cut a hole in this one, it's not very good. But you're going to want to cut a hole in it, right there. And make sure there's a, still, like right here, there's still a foam, a black piece, black rim around it, so that the PS button will still work, it'll still push down. So, and I would suggest using a carpenter's knife, or an X-Acto knife to cut it. I don't have an exacto knife so I just use a car small carpenter's knife. So yeah, cut a hole in that. Be very careful, make sure you don't fuck it up. So yeah, I'll, once I once I get cut a hole in it, I'll be right back. Okay you guys, this is what's gonna look like once you've cut the hole in it. See there's still some rim around the edge. It's a big enough hole to shine lots of light through to the PS button. See, it's where it shines through to. So you can just put that aside. The little start select and uh, PS button thing back. Just set it aside. Next uh, is uh, this, the white plastic piece. You can uh, take some pliers, rip this little thing off right here. I'll do it right now. rip it off like that you don't need it and you're gonna drill a hole in it now uh, for sizes I'm using a three millimeter LED cuz it it seems to uh, shine a lot better than the five millimeter uh, yeah and if I can get all this all my fucking drills are screwed up. Let's 
So, this is the size I use. I'm not sure what size it's called. What you can do is just hold your LED up to the drill. And if they are the same size, then it should work. So yeah, I'll be right back once I drill a hole in there. Okay, you guys, I've drilled a hole in. My uh, three millimeter LED fits. So, what you can do is you can wire up all the uh, all the wires up to it and just place it in there, or you can do what I do and uh, glue the LED into the into the frame. I like to do that because then it just it's there and it's steady. So I have to go get my glue gun and heat it up and uh, glue it in there. And what you can do is, uh, I forgot to tell you, uh, after this little video right here, I will have a picture showing all the different uh, colors of LEDs you can get and uh, the voltages they need and whether or not they need a resistor and how many OHM's uh, resistor it needs, if it does. So the, the, the smaller one is the negative and the taller one is the positive. Positive is red and negative is black. So what I do is uh, right at the bottom here I color the negative side black so that I don't really have to remember. It just shows right there. That's what I do. And then I cut the the LED uh, little metal pieces, I can't remember what they're called. Anyways, cut them down so that how much like you need, how much you don't need of it. Because you're not going to need this long of a fucking LED. So yeah, do that and I will glue my LED in there and I'll show you guys how I glued it in there. And on the page that shows all the LEDs and voltages, I will have a link on that page for the site called Phenoptics. Uh, it's got great LEDs, it's got lots of resistors, cheap resistors, a hundred for like a dollar. And uh, LEDs are really cheap there. Like, I think this blue one is the lowest you can get it. You can get it for like 15 cents. Some sites are like fucking a dollar or so. It's just stupid. This site's great. It's a UK site. Any, uh, can't remember how much ever you buy of LEDs, uh, the shipping, international shipping is free. So yeah, I'll, I'll be right back once I've got this glued in and shit. Okay, you guys, uh, I've got this, uh, hot glued in. LEDs will shine through the other side. I just stuck it in the hole, hot glued over it. I took a marker, colored the glue with the, the the negative side. So, and the reason they're bent over back up is because my motherboard it's got this little thing. I think it, I'm pretty sure that's the psi axis thing. Uh, if it were, if my wires were still sticking out, it would to be in the way. So I've just got them in like that. And now comes for the the wiring. Uh, I get my wiring from Phenoptics. They got really small, flexible, good wire there. You're gonna need some, uh, at least uh, two different colors of wires: red for positive, black for negative. Uh, wire strippers. Um, better uh, start heating up my soldering gun. Actually, this is mine. It's a butane. Butane ones uh, seem to heat up faster. Uh, I will be showing me uh, wiring these on, wiring them in right here. Uh, it'll just be uh, speeded up. Uh, and yeah, I'm using a blue LED, and blue LED does not need uh, an, a, resi a resistor on it. If you guys don't know what a resistor is, a resistor is, uh, kill uh, dies down the voltage uh, that it's giving something to like uh, like red or red LEDs they only need uh, like two volts 
so you got to put a resistor on it else it will uh, because the motherboard is giving 3.7 volts if you give that red LED the full 3.7 volts uh, your LED will uh, burn out so uh, <clears throat> my blue LED it needs like uh, 3 volts so it's uh, good doesn't need a resistor it's getting a little bit more voltage than it needs but uh, that will just make it brighter I'm pretty sure it should so yeah I'm gonna start wiring these up so yeah I forgot to tell you guys uh, when you're cutting your wire make sure it's the enough length to uh, hook up to here and wrap around to go on to your motherboard right there so yeah just make sure there's enough uh, wire so yeah So uh, the next step, uh, you're gonna take your dual shocks out, and you gotta strip these wires. Cause remember, you had to cut them, so you gotta strip them so that you can solder them back onto their spots. So they just push out like that. So I'll be right back once I've got them the, the end of the wire strip. Okay, you guys, I've got the the rumbles. Uh, the wire, rumbles wires uh, strip so you're gonna put your rumbles back into their spot just like that rumbles are back in there so next step uh, get your foamy piece make sure you didn't lose that and uh, you're gonna clamp Clamp the middle, clamp uh, for the touch pad in. It's kind of tricky, the middle one. Next step, push in the side clamps. Just like that. Next step, put your foamy piece onto the, where the plastic piece sits. that uh, wrap your uh, touchpad part around and clamp it in next step take your controller and set it all this uh, pieces in like so and then uh, push this in Make sure all your pieces are going in right. I don't know if mine are right now. If they're not going in right, just take it all out. Kind of set it in. You might have to keep it lifted up and put it in like I'm doing. See, yeah, I had to keep it lifted up. Push in your dual shocks into the clamp, and to make sure uh, all your uh, front pieces are working, just uh, turn it around, push them, make sure they all feel right, make sure everything's working good. And here, my R1 and L1 kind of got fucked up here. I'm just gonna fix them. Okay, so next step, get your motherboard, get your motherboard, 
gonna keep mine lifted up and set it in. Make sure your wires from the coming from the LED are wrapped around. Make sure they're not in the way of anything. That make sure they're not in the way of that sciaxy thing. Now next step, take your screwdriver, screw that screw to the motherboard back in. Okay. Okay, so next step, the solder points. Just gonna lift this up here. The solder points. I'm going to uh, take a picture and I will have a picture showing all the solder points and for this new kinds. And I got a. I have an old type here. This is how the solder points look. See, it's different. Some different spots. So, I will have a picture for that. On both of them. So, yeah. And, you're gonna solder these wires to here. And solder in your dual shock your rumble sorry to their solder points remember the top one is positive bottom one negative so you should still have some wire left like I do showing that they which ones are which positive and negative and once I show you guys those pictures I will show me uh, soldering my points in my sol soldering the wires in and only it'll speed be speeded up Okay guys, I've got all the rumbles and the LED soldered in. That's the soldering spot I soldered the LED to. Got the rumbles both soldered back in. Now it's uh, time uh, to put it back together. So, 
First of all, make sure your uh, your R1 works good. Make sure your, uh, you put your L2 and R2 back in right. I forgot to tell you guys, uh, this, you will only have to cut out the rumbles for this kind of PS3 controller. Just to tell you guys that now. So, yeah. Uh, make sure your L, R1 and L1 work good. Triggers work good. And, uh, now to put in your battery. Now when you put your battery in, your uh, LED should blink uh, twice real fast. Don't worry about that. It just does that. Now uh, put your, uh, your back cover back on. Push it in like that. Push this back clamp in. Now it's time to put all your screws back in. That you should have put on some tape so you didn't lose them. So once I got those back in, I'll turn this baby on and show you guys the finished product. Okay you guys, uh, I've got all the screws in. Now it's time to see what it looks like. Looks pretty good. So yeah, hope that helped you guys. Uh, please rate five if it helped. Uh, got any questions, comment or PM me. And uh, subscribe for more videos. Uh, and if you guys would like to learn how to mod these uh, LEDs, I will have a link right here uh, to my video of that. So yeah. And Right once this video is done, I, I'm going to go ahead and mod these right now to blue. So yeah. Hope that helped you guys. So yeah, see you later. Please subscribe.